We have a health alert tonight. Almost three weeks after the state lifted the mask mandate inside our schools, the number of children getting sick is on the rise. As News Channel 9's Casey Honenbaum found out, it's not only COVID cases, but it's a number of other illnesses as well. Today we are when the mask mandate was lifted in schools, many saw it as a hopeful sign as we schools. enter year three of the pandemic. But three weeks into the new mandate, sickness is spreading inside our schools. Those viruses have not gone away. The children just were not exposed to them because they were wearing masks. Uh, now we lifted the masks and uh, the viruses now uh, have free for all. Essentially, they circulate widely. They can spread really easily. It's not just COVID that's spreading. It's other respiratory infections as well. As we masked for those extended period of times, two years essentially, you know, we've been pretty sheltered uh, from those viruses because masks work really well for respiratory viruses, not just for COVID, but they work well for uh, influenza, for res you know, RSV and other common cold viruses. Especially with younger children. Or they're exposed to different types of germs. Uh, and as they do get exposed, their bodies learns to deal with those infections and um, uh, their bodies uh, build immunity. It's quite likely that we now have a cohort of, um, you know, 2020 and 2021, that there were some children, especially younger ones, have not been exposed to those viruses. However, Shaw says there is a solution now that masks aren't a requirement. The best protection is really to get your child vaccinated because the vaccines really protect your child from severe disease. Um, they may not work perfectly well for uh, protection against infection, but it will protect your children from severe disease, hospitalization, and death. Keeping children safe so they can continue to learn. In Syracuse, Casey Honigbaum, News Channel 9. Fayetteville Manlius in particular saw their staff and student COVID cases rise at 34 two weeks ago to now 52 as of last week's report.